They're busy even before breakfast. By the time that's served, the hot lunch is already in the oven. The go-to sandwiches, handmade, one after the other. The hospitality is beyond repose. I love it here. This is a go-to spot at the corner of 4th Avenue and Sackett called Community Help in Park Slope, or CHIPS, since 1971. Places like this help people like me get through hard times. John's staying at the shelter around the block until his job starts up. He's grateful for this. Definitely. Like team of volunteers. You, so you can tell these people care. They're putting in effort. So we have a lot more foot traffic. Matthew Caban is the chef who makes it happen with his crew and volunteers. The hotel down the street is now one of the homes for migrants arriving in the city. So I was anticipating something. I just wasn't prepared for the volume. Um, it's just a lot of people. And we're doing white rice with some turkey I roasted off and some great salad we got from the neighborhood. The food co-op comes through to drop off produce often. A quality meal made possible by donations. Grants help fund the operations, but it's getting tougher. Our community is a really great help right now. They have been dropping off donations on a daily basis. Paulino Geese goes nonstop, coordinating the flow, greeting people, checking on the next meal. About three weeks ago, migrants were dropped off in our neighborhood at the Holiday Inn around the corner. We're the closest soup kitchen, so we went from 160 to 100 people, 180 people a day. So right now we're serving over 300. We are asking for fu extra funding, you know, extra donations. We don't like to turn anyone away. Donations come in, sometimes big shipments, other times just left here right at the window. They are open six days a week, Monday through Saturday. In Park Slope, Greg Malker, PIX11 News.